Hello everybody, this is Dr. Schleith, and in this video I'll be going over how to determine the frequency of a sound wave using an oscilloscope, which you hopefully recognize as one of your learning outcomes, and it's also your lab work for this week. I encourage you to, if you can, download an oscilloscope app on your device and generate different sound waves and try to determine their frequencies. As always, include a record of everything in your journal. Try to set up your lab work, uh, as we always do, with a claim evidence reasoning, where the claim is going to be the frequency of the wave, maybe with a description of, of what it was that generated the wave, like a whistle or a guitar or whatever it is. Um, the evidence is going to be, you know, the oscilloscope data itself, which, you know, you might be able to print out or you might be able to sketch or you might just be able to um, just extract the relevant data from it and then do a calculation of how many waves per unit time, which is the definition of frequency. And so for the reasoning, we're just sort of really relying on that. The definition of frequency is how many waves per unit time. So I'm going to generate a uh, wave here with my keyboard. And musicians may recognize that uh, note. It's one that many different orchestras will actually tune their instruments to. All right, you can kind of see a trough right there at one millisecond. It might be difficult to, to read the uh, display here. So I'll tell you that that first trough that you see there on the screen corresponds with one millisecond of time. And if we count over one, two, three, four waves, in other words, um, four wavelengths, uh, one wavelength is the distance from trough to trough. And if I go over four waves, that trough aligns with 10 milliseconds. And so if we have four waves per nine milliseconds, right, because the first trough started at one millisecond, then four waves is occupying nine milliseconds of time on our, on our display here. So frequency is just how many waves per unit time. And so four divided by nine milliseconds is four divided by 0 0.009 seconds. And that solves for the frequency. So feel free to include this uh, wave as an example in your um, journal for your lab work, but also try to you know explore the physics of sound waves uh, by generating sound waves with you know uh, different things from human speech to um, instruments you might have to you know be creative and be respectful of, of those around you um, if you have any questions throughout the week please don't hesitate to reach out to me i'm here to help uh, questions about lab work or any other learning outcomes there are several cathode ray oscilloscope uh, worked example questions that i've uploaded that you may find helpful in making sense of this learning outcome uh, I really miss everybody, seeing everybody in the classroom. Hopefully you're adjusting as well as you can to this virtual learning. Um, as you can see, I've been trying to, you know, have some fun with it. So don't forget to, you know, have fun with your physics there, class, and have a good one.